All right, guys, what is up? Here's another tutorial from Virginia Tech Guy One. All right, so as you can see, this is a tutorial. All right, so this is gonna be a tutorial on how to use Twixter. Uh, in case you guys don't know what Twixter is, it's pretty much this right here. Um, let me just turn down the volume. Uh, it's pretty much this right here. Uh, fast forward so you guys don't have to watch this. It's this. It's a slow motion effect that just like slows everything down and it's really nice. It's really sexy. Um, sorry about all this crap on my desktop. I've been doing a lot of stuff lately. Uh, next tutorial I shouldn't have all this crap on here. Um, Alright, so what you guys want to do is open up your After Effects. In case you don't have After Effects, that is alright. Uh, subscribe to my channel. My next video will actually be how to get After Effects. Um, no torrents, no use warrant, whatever. It's just a download. Um, that's actually what's in this folder right here. I know it's called Cinema 4D, but that's what's in that folder. Uh, so, what you want to do is you want to go to File, Import, get your clip. Um, I will use one of my montage clips for Call of Duty 4. Uh, how about we use the clip that was on YouTube, uh, since I already know how that one works. Um, alright, so what you want to do, you don't have to do it, you'll find different tutorials on YouTube, but you, people are like, oh, you have to create a new composition. No, it already does it for you. See, that's composition. It, I have no composition, but it still works. It's really sexy. Alright, so you want to get your clip, right? So you, uh, use this little thing right here. You want to go to the part in your clip that uh that you want the twixter for so you don't really want a lot of movement in this uh so i'm going to actually do it right where i did it on the video on my youtube which is right here on the reload so as you can see there are not a lot of movement most people actually do do it on the reloads of guns or like right before they shoot so i'm going to do mine right there all right uh so it might look a little blurry but when it's done and rendered, it doesn't look blurry. Uh, so, alright, so what you guys want to do is you want to go to Effect, uh, RB Vision Plugins, go to Twixter. A lot of people tell you to use Twixter Pro. I don't really like it. I like Twixter. So you guys want to put your input frame. If you have an HD PVR, if you're recording from an HD PVR, it's going to be 59.940. I'm recording from my Dazzle. I should be getting an HD PVR soon, uh, like within the next month or two. Um, but if it's a Dazzle, it should already be set on 29.970. Uh, right here where it says motion sensitivity, uh, you want to click on that and type in 72. Uh, and then just click down here. When that's all done, you're going to click this drop down arrow next to this little teal colored box or whatever color yours is, uh, the mine's teal. Uh, then you want to go down to effects, twixter, uh, then go to output control. That's what you want to do. Alright, so you can actually scroll down a little bit right here. Now you see this is 100. You want to click this stopwatch. Then you want to zoom in all the way. And you want to go to about a second forward. And then you want to change this to 5. And just click off to the side. And that should put another keyframe in there. Now you can zoom back out. Now you want to go about a second forward. It depends how long. Like it's up to you. I'm what I normally do is go a second or two seconds forward to see like what part I want. Uh, like right there, or maybe I'll go two seconds. Yeah. All right. So then all you get did all you have to do is change that back to 100 and click it, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to play this for you guys. Uh, I will render it real quickly, and I will play it for you. Yeah, so I will resume the video when this is back. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye. Alright guys, I am back, uh, and here's the video. Um, it's not really the best example. It's not as good as the video uh, that... I just closed out of. It's not as good as this one. Uh, I used actually too much. You probably want to do about one second. Um, yeah, because if you put too much movement, like in an M16, the gun moves a lot. So it causes a lot of ghosting and lag. Uh, so basically, 
you don't want to have it in a lot of movement. Uh, maybe like if you're doing a montage thing, you can do it when the montage, like when he's about right before he about to shoot it, but not really the part where I'm doing it right here. It wasn't really the best example, so let's watch. Uh, as you can see, it's the same video. Uh, I shoot this guy, shoot that guy, and I'll just let you guys watch. See, as you can see, it was nice and smooth, but when it got to the top, it was kind of laggy. Like, there was a lot of ghosting, uh, but this is a really good effect. I recommend using it. Uh, please subscribe if you enjoyed this, because I will be having more graphics tutorials on the way, as in using optical flares and all that. So, guys, just remember, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.